Hey, what's going on? Coin Up TV subscribers, Robert Walkney here. In this video, I want to do another review of a Shaw Brothers classic from 1971 is the Crimson Charm, which was recently released on the Shout Factory Shaw Brothers Classics Volume 2, uh, which included uh, also the Shadow Whip on this set, although these are individually packaged. I already did a review for the Shadow Whip, so please check that out. Uh, but this one is going to be for the Crimson Charm, which I actually found pretty enjoyable. I'll give my letter grade uh, at the end of this video and uh, my, my thoughts, my recap and stuff. But uh, first, I want to get to the IMDb synopsis. Uh, so the Crimson Charm, 1971, uh, it says the tale of a noble swordsman and a one-armed swordswoman who find themselves up against the evil Crimson Charm gang of thieves and thugs. Pretty good synopsis there. So we've got uh, this movie is starring Chang Shi as Han Yu, Ivy Ling Pu as Yu Fang Fang, um, Shi Zhu as Shang Shang Xing, and Fang Mian as Chief Chang Xian Chao. <laughs> Do not know if I'm saying any of those names correctly. Apologies in advance. But if you want the spellings of these, they're all on like the IMDb there. So uh, let's see. What do we got? We got an aging martial artist is turning 60 and is about to retire, but not without some conflict in his life. Because, you know, you can't sleep when you're a martial artist. Uh, when he steps in to assist a lady in peril, it triggers an event, events leading to the Crimson Charm gang coming back to uh, set some harm uh, uh, to him and his followers, he's basically uh, somebody's uh, about to get is getting a guy, a guy and his daughter, I think, are, are getting mugged. The guy gets stabbed. Daughter's about to be raped. Uh, the martial artist comes in and helps saves the day. And uh, this sort of is the inciting incident that uh, triggers the events in this movie. Um, about uh, forty minutes in, we get a big fight that kills off the retiring martial artist and his clan, except for a few students who trained to avenge him. So it's kind of like a little bit of a switch up there with their protagonist, the hero of the movie. Uh, a bit strange that the senior student shows up and sees the dead bodies and then leaves without moving or burying them, not even checking for survivors on which one, his female friend was one of them. So that was a little interesting. There was this kind of this big brawl that happened uh, where uh, one of the villains from the Crimson Charm gang comes in, kind of kills the, the, the master and all the students and then one of our lead head student guys who was kind of semi-banished comes back and he, he doesn't even check to see who's still alive and it turns out that one of them was alive and she she had her arm cut off and she trains uh to be a martial artist uh on her own and he trains to be a martial artist uh also we're kind of up his game not a lot of training sequency stuff and there's a little bit with the guy not so much with the gal she winds up with this kind of like this mysterious weapon thing that she uses um uh, i wrote my notes here getting back to my notes uh, we get the common trope of uh, a woman dressed as a man and everything that everybody thinks is a guy uh halfway through the movie yeah, even her fellow student doesn't recognize her when he's up close to her face to face it's baffling that somebody who he knew he knew he knows her voice her eyes her face wouldn't be able to tell who it is just because her hair is in a ponytail and she's wearing man's clothing i still don't understand that as a conceit but i guess you gotta let it go and you gotta you gotta roll with it um not sure why that's a thing you gotta you gotta go with it uh, it was funny, Sam Hung has been in some of these early Shaw Brothers movies pop popping up from time to time. Not, no speaking roles, but just some like little cameos here and there. He's, uh, Sam Hung is one of the Crimson Charn Gang's red shirts, I wrote to my notes. And uh, Scout, my doggy's all, all excited over here, wants to play. Um, and it looks like he was in three different scenes total where he was killed off. And it looks like even one of them, he took like this axe to the head, which I thought was pretty crazy. So to wrap things up off my notes here, I wrote down a little disjointed on who the protagonist and the antagonist are in this movie as they're sort of switching uh, back and forth halfway through the movie. But overall, very entertaining with tons of fighting, great costumes, uh, of great villains, villainous characters, uh, great cameos. Towards the end of the movie, we got um, one of the guys I like a lot, Kufang, is a short role in the movie as one of like the head villain guys and James... Uh, Tien also pops up in like a short fight scene at the end of the movie. He's got this crazy colored hair. It was pretty great. I was looking at the credits and it had Lam Ying in the credits as one of the thugs. 
but I didn't really catch who he was. So um, if you knew who he was, if you watched this and you know who, who he was in this movie, let me know and I'll, I'll look for him on a rewatch. So let me get to my letter grade. I'm gonna go with a B minus on this. Highly enjoyable, above average, um, action packed, great characters, great villains. Uh, it, was, it was a fun, it was actually a surprise. I'd never heard of this movie before and I was surprised and I enjoyed it and I watched it a couple times. So now let's get to the Shout Factory's Blu-ray here. So on the description, it, says, it just says the Crimson Charm trailers, original and celestial trailers, but it does include a commentary track from Brian Bankston, a film historian. It's not listed on the information here. Maybe it's on the website, it probably has it. Uh, I think these went to print early and maybe Brian, uh, a couple of times he's been kind of a, a, a late addition to the commentaries, but um, it, you know, so I got to watch it twice and I enjoyed uh, his take on the movie, uh, The Crimson Charm. You'll have to let me know what your take is on the movie as well, if you're a fan, if you've seen it before. Um, I also watched, uh, recently watched Clans of Intrigue from 1977. So as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to record a review of that video. So hopefully check that out and uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the Crimson Charm for CoinOp TV. We'll see you next time.